You're going to take the Barbie away? You're not playing with a Barbie. You're not my son's okay. not playing with a Barbie. Okay, I can my see next... it, and I bet most people agree with you. And my next thing is, I'm going to have to assume, and, <clears throat> and excuse me for jumping to this conclusion, but I'm going to assume that this couple is a same-sex couple. Because I can't believe that there are too many men out here who are heterosexual, married to a woman. or with Yeah, there's, there's got to be no... Oh, right, I don't right. care. Let my son... First of all, you're not naming my son Sasha. Yeah, that's okay. Right. That's first off. He's, he's destined, if you name a kid Sasha, what do you expect? He's, he's going to play with Bobby. He's destined to state or play in the woods. One or the other. Okay. Can't have it. Can't have it. Uh, Doctor, yeah, in, 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 Spock, in Europe, Spock, maybe in off Europe. Off the mic, all right? In Europe. <laughs> Dr. Spock. It says that last year another couple, Kathy Witterick and David Stocker. See, David Stocker. Now, there's a manly name of Toronto made similar decisions when they had their baby Storm. At the time, certain psychiatric, that was a big word, at the time, certain psychiatric experts voiced concern over their decision to have a sense of self and personal identity is a critical part of normal, healthy development, Dr. Eugene Bernstein said. Director of training, director of training in child and adolescent Psychiatry of Massachusetts General Hospital. This blocks that and sets up the child for bullying, scapegoating, and marginalization. I don't know. If you tell the kid, if the kid wants to wear a dress, I think if the kid wants to wear a dress, three, four, five years old, he's probably got a little sugar in his pants, and you might want to just back off and let him be who he's going to be because he's going to be that anyways. And if you push him and freak him out, you're going to raise him with insecurities and all kinds of problems. If he's going to be that way, let him get there on his own. Help him along the way. Tell him, listen, if you wear that to school, you're going to have problems. You're going to get your butt kicked. You're going to get picked on. Your job as a parent is to raise your child. Your job as, as a parent is to set boundaries and, 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 and to show your child different things as they grow. Yes. Now, as they get older, of course, they're going to make their own decisions, and they'll, have a be and they'll be better equipped to make those decisions. You're right. There's no way that a small boy is equipped to know whether or not he wants to wear a dress. Why not? Did you want to wear a dress? Did you what? Did you did you wear pants because mom told you to wear pants, or did you really want to wear a dress and you said, "All right, I'll wear pants." Okay, you I can wore tell you right boy now. clothes because you wanted to wear boy I can clothes. Tell you, as far back as I can remember, never ever did Sydney wake up and say, "You know, I feel a little." Little, I like to wear little, that peak sundress today. today. I like to yeah. wear a dress. Mom, no. can I get a dress like yours? No, but if you had, what would that say about you? Anything, do you believe? You know what? I don't know. If you had said, Mom, I really I want know. to wear a dress, it I might know. say something about you. It might be, I, I liked little girls since I was three, four years old. I didn't need to be told. And if I says, I don't like little girls, I like little boys, or I like whatever, or I don't know who I like, but I like that pink dress. I was maybe, only kidding. Yeah, that says something about me. It says that my parents were screwed up because I did not. I wanted to wear a stinking dress, and I was a boy, sir. This. this